I'm off for another car carbon adventure. This time, I think I say it all the time that I've no idea where I'm going, but I kind of had an inkling, but this time I genuinely haven't got a clue where I'm gonna go. I know I have a time period this time. It's Monday lunchtime now, like half 11, and I have to be back by Wednesday for a doctor's appointment for Stephen. And I can go anywhere I want to for what? Is that like 48 hours? Where should we go? I think I want coastal. I always want coastal though. Hmm. Let's just start driving and we'll see what happens. Adventure time. I guess the first decision I have to make is north or south. I think south. Or I suppose I could go east. I can't really go west. I'm as west as you can kind of get really. Uh, so I think... Then we're gonna go south. It's quite a nice day. It's warm. It's what is it? Like 20 odd degrees or so. A little bit windy. We've just had an absolutely boiling weekend. I think the hottest day of the year so far was on Saturday. We've just had the weekend of the Northern Lights where I think everyone in the whole of the UK and other places of the world saw the Northern Lights, except for me. I missed them. I was asleep. Very annoyed about it, by the way. Very, very annoyed. I actually got really <laughs> upset about it. I had, it was like Saturday morning when I like you know, heard all about it and stuff. I was like, I was sort of partly annoyed and partly quite upset, and I was like proper nearly crying about it that everyone had seen it apart from me. Pathetic. I've been driving for a little bit now, and I think I've made a decision on where to go. I am where am I? Chester, right by Chester. I did contemplate taking a little trip to Chester. I feel like I've been there relatively recently. So I think I'm gonna, well I know now, unless something else, like a sign for something else pops up that uh, piques my interest, I'm gonna head over to North Wales. I don't know where, um, that's as far as I've like narrowed it down to. Somewhere North Wales, coastal. Where else? Welcome to Wales. Oh, we're in Flint. This is very weird driving without my map on. I'm kind of just completely guessing, but we're in Flint. What I might do, I was in Flint a little while ago uh, on, when I was on my way to Anglesey, I think it was. must have been. Yeah, when I was on my way to Anglesey, I stopped off at Flint, a little castle there. What I might do is, around about lunchtime, I might park up in the Flint Castle car park and have some lunch, possibly. I don't know where the castle is. I wonder if I can find it without using my phone. Of course I can. What are the signs? There's a sign there. I need to turn right here. Castle Road. There we go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Let that lady cross. We don't want to run over it. <laughs> I've done something silly. I forgot to pack any socks. I was, it's not as warm as I thought it was and I was just about to change into my trainers so I could go for a walk. And I haven't got any socks. So, I'm gonna drive to find a shop where I can buy some socks. Tesco Express, no. Maybe there's like, where sells socks? There's like a little, what's here? Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's might sell socks, or oh, B&M. Just you see B&M, B&M might sell some socks. Let's go and take a look. Yes, they sell socks. Maybe these. All right, sorted. I got some socks. If you wonder why not I just wear my trainers without socks, if you are one of those weirdos who can wear shoes without socks, good for you. I'm not one of them. I can't understand that. I think it's absolutely <laughs> disgusting to wear shoes without socks on. It grosses me out. Now I can keep my feet warm. I feel like I don't want to go back to Flint now. I might continue. <laughs> well, back to Flint. Back to Flint Castle. I'm in Flint. 
Uh, I might continue along the coast a little bit and see what I can stumble across, I think. This road, like I said, I was going to drive along the coast a bit, but you can't even tell you on the coast. We're too far in. Wow. I don't know if you're going to see it. You can't see it now. There's a huge ship there. I might stop and have a look. What is it? Where can I park? I don't know where I am. Well, I'm in a car park, I guess. I wonder if I can get to that ship from here. I've parked up somewhere. What is, what am I? Oh, the Duke of Lancaster ship. I really want to go and have a little wonder. It has started spinning a bit, of course. I think, how do I get to it? Maybe there's a little footpath down there, it looks like. Right, let's put my socks on and my trainers. I haven't got a coat, because of course I was ever hopeful that the wonderful English weather was going to continue, but of course not. I think it'll be all right. It's not cold. In fact, I'm quite warm in my jumper. It's black socks. I've not had black socks for ages. Honestly, I feel like I'm being a little bit awkward, but my feet are too warm in socks and trainers. <laughs> but they're too cold in flip-flops or sliders. What? What's the in-between? Help me out. What's the in-between be between that and that to keep your feet okay? I don't know. I've been reading this sign. Let's see if I can get any information. Where am I? Where's Flint? Oh, Duke of Lancaster. Let's have a little look. What does it say on this sign? The car park gates will be locked. Five, that's okay. Dripping on me. <laughs> oh, I see the um what is it? Duke of Lancaster, I see it. Whoa, it's incredible. Stephen would like this, I reckon. I can get over, there's a bitch. What a random and interesting little fact. The TSS Duke of Lancaster is a former railway steamer passenger ship that was operating in Europe between 1956 and 1979. She's currently beached here near Mostyne Docks on the River Dee in North Wales. That's pretty crazy that that's just there. I should have also, I should have worn my walking boots, not my nice clean trainers. It's quite muddy. And there seems to have been lots of legal battles with local councils and owners about this ship, the fun ship. It, I don't really understand it, but it was turned into like this fun ship. But due to these legal battles, the owners kind of just walked away and the ship has just been left here. Kind of to rot ever since. It's a bit of a shame, really. I found another sneaky little path. It comes around the other side the ship. I say sneaky little path. It's part of the North Wales coast walk. It's not that sneaky. Whoa. Now I know you know already because I've already done this little bit and told you all about it but I'm really intrigued to go and research about that ship. Like why, why it's here, sort of the whole history of it. On the road again. Well, at least I will be when I go out of this car park. Where should we go? Let's just keep going along the coast. See if we can find any other little gems. I am heading. Oh, there's a pontins there. Prestatin pontins. I am in Prestatin. Going down to the beach road. I have a feeling that the beach road here is all like double yellow lines and things, which is a pain. But we'll go, we'll go and have a little look. It's starting to rain as well. Oh, it's going wrong. Well, there's a car park. There's some public toilets. Oh, so yeah, so there's a play and display car park there. Be this is Beach Road West. Oh. Maybe I could have gone up there, actually. Let's see. Play and display. Okay. I don't know if I want this, but we'll go and have a little 
peak. Oh, maybe I do want this actually. Maybe I'll suck it up and pay. What's the situation? Can I pay? I bet you can't stay the night. Oh, let's go and have a little look at what the situation is with paying and whatever. I'm not sure you know, because it says all day, five pound. There's no other that explicitly says you can't stay overnight. There is zero beach though. The tide is right up. <laughs> so a little wander on the beach is out of the question. Maybe we're gonna keep driving, you know. I feel like potentially I'm in one of those moods where like nothing is quite good enough for me. Should I keep driving a little bit longer? I mean, I don't even know what I want to do, whether I want to go for a walk. I'm feeling quite tired. I mean, it's only like three o'clock in the afternoon, but I feel like I just want to get in the back. Should I keep driving? I'm being very indecisive and moony. Hmm. I'm going to sit here, have a little look on my map, see if I can find something. I'm on the move. I don't know where to. Further down the coast. <laughs> I don't know why, I was so excited about going car camping and I feel like I've just become this little Marty pants. Maybe it's because, is it the weather? It started raining, maybe. Because I feel like maybe I don't know like what I, I want to do now. I was planning on potentially doing things in the nice weather and it's now not nice weather. I don't know, I'm, I'm being miserable. I need to snap out of it. Snap, sort it. I feel like maybe I'm in real. Is this real? Does this look familiar to anyone who you knows real? I found somewhere. Where am I? I don't know why this spot is any better than any of the others that I was in, but <laughs> this, I am at Kinmole, Kinmole Harbour by Real. There's some boats just out there. Oh, fact, behind me there's a sign that says Real Harbour, that leads to Real Harbour Car Park. But I'm just on like the road that goes up to it. Um, if it stops raining ever, I'm going to go and have a little wander. Let me see. No. It's due, <laughs> it's due to rain forevermore, it looks like. If it, you know it doesn't stop me, I'm going to like hang, hang around in the car for a little bit and see what happens weatherwise and then I may go out for a little wonder. This weather! Oh, it's so annoying. I'm not quite sure what to do. <laughs> so I'm just in the back. I'm going to paint my nails. I have been contemplating. I don't know what's wrong with me all of a sudden. I don't, I don't know. I've been contemplating whether to just drive back home. I don't know why. I'm probably not going to. But I, what I was thinking about is I had a little look on like Pitch Up, which is, uh, if you don't know, a website, um, campsites, like hotel booking, but for campsites. And I was thinking maybe, I did look briefly for tonight, but what about trying car camping and actual car uh, campsite i was looking like because i've talked before but like the point of this car camping is to get around see places but do it basically for free other than you know the cost of charging up my car and stuff but campsites if i can find some campsites for like 10 quid so maybe maybe You've been here a while and see my car camping fun in the past you'll know that cooking is not something i've actually managed to really figure out um if i'm on a campsite it will be fine um i mean it is a bit rainy now so i'm not i'm just gonna in the car <laughs> go you my like like cold beans and things like that i'm gonna eat some cold spaghetti rings and some pineapple slices that's gonna be my tea i think be right i've got some bagels actually so i could have a bagel with my spaghetti ring maybe that even sounds like an actual meal. A bagel with cold spaghetti rings, which I do love. I know some people think like cold beans and things is gross, but I don't. So, yeah, that's tea.
Mm. <laughs> That's actually really nice. I really need like a tray or something. That would make life better, actually. Not necessarily a plate. Like a tray. Maybe like a, you know one of the like camping tables that you can fold up, like just a very small one. That would be good. That would be a good addition, I think. To my car camping gear. I'm feeling pretty stuffed. After that food, I was thinking about going for a bit of a walk. But I didn't bring a coat with me. And I don't know if you can hear it. There's a lot of rain out there. So I've given up <laughs> on doing anything. And I've put all my um, window coverings up. I'm in bed, as you can see. And I'm just going to have a really early night to be honest. I think I could probably do that. I think that was Matt with me before was a bit of like that afternoon slump. And I was just feeling like really tired. Um, I think I have had quite a few late nights and things, excuse me, recently. So actually, getting a really nice early night will probably be good for me. Do I see in the morning? I don't know if it's going to be raining again tomorrow, probably. I might, I have been looking a little bit about a campsite. I might book a campsite for tomorrow night and see what I think about that. I'm not sure yet though. We'll see you tomorrow. Right. Good morning. It is about quarter to seven. It's been raining all night. <laughs> I've just been lying here. I woke up at like six ish and I've been lying there just listening to the rain. Thinking, oh, excuse me. I wonder whether it's going to stop so I can go for like a nice little morning walk along the beach there. I don't think it's going <laughs> to. It's bloody weather. I had a good night's sleep though. I can go to sleep by like, I don't know, half eight, nine o'clock. I don't know how actual heavy it is. It doesn't sound that heavy to be honest. I mean, if I get where I get where I'm a lot bothered. I've been walking for about an hour, so I'm nearly back at the car park, and then I'm going to nip to Asda, get all freshened up clean my teeth because I feel disgusting and I don't know what the day holds I probably I'm gonna go and charge my car and then I, I might book a campsite for tonight if I can find just like a really dirt cheap one like a tenner or something to see what I think of that right, car charging I'm just gonna sit here I put on a fast charger this time someone was asking me do I ever use like fast chargers when I'm traveling generally I try to use cheap um slower chargers the cheaper ones but I've just got to I've just put on a fast charger this morning I've bought some overnight oats from home strawberry overnight oats and eat this hopefully it should be done it says charging complete in one hour 54 minutes but I don't quite believe that's true I think it will be quicker than that it's going up like so it was on 49% now on 52% by the time I like literally got my camera out so I reckon maybe half an hour or so will be enough. I don't need it fully charged anyway. I'm pretty annoyed with myself right now for not bringing my um, my hiking boots. Why didn't I bring my hiking boots? I don't know why I put my trainers on instead of my hiking boots. I found this little place. It was about five miles away from where I was. This car park actually, it's got, it's, there's, as I was driving in, there's a waterfall just there. There's some toilets. I'm not sure whether they look like they're unlocked. So that's nice. Um, but if I had my hiking boots, I could go for like, I'm sure there's like a cool hike around the waterfall. We'll go and have a little wander. We'll go and explore, but I don't want to 
back my trainers. They're quite new. Stephen bought me them for Christmas. Oh, they're all right actually. They've got a loo roll. The gates are currently locked. Look, there's this nice little picnic area. I'm at Dyser's Waterfall and the Doomsday Book of 1086 mentions a mill in this area and it's probable that the pair of walls that we see in a minute were built to support a water wheel which would have been driven by the water coming from the waterfall. I don't know where they lead. Just gonna have a little wander. I have a feeling these steps don't actually lead anywhere, but we'll go and see. Oh, that's the car park. My car's just there. There's too many steps. I'm not feeling very energetic today. Got to the top of the steps. It's nice up here. Mm -hmm. The waterfall, I can see the sea, some countryside. I think it probably leads on to like some hikes and things, but no hiking boots, no, no energy. I'm not taking part in that today. I want to just sit here on the bench. I was just doing my car camping chores, got a bit hot, took my jumper off, I've been shat on. It's probably on my hair or something, I feel absolutely gross. Good job, I've got some toilets. I'm gonna clean it in the toilets. Oh my god. Well thanks Pigeon, <laughs> for shitting on me. I feel disgusted now. I've oh, that's the only jumper I've got, which luckily I think I'll be alright without a jumper. But it, there's no way that I've not got some on my hair or something as I took my jumper off. Ugh. But actually, this is worked out okay. If there was ever a time when I was car camping, and it was the time for a bird to shit on my back, it would be now because. I have booked a campsite for this evening. I'm pretty sure they have showers. I Well, I booked one that said they had showers. So I am going to get there as soon as I can and go and have a shower and get clean because I feel gross. Ugh! I think I'm going to end this video here because I want to make a separate video all about going to the campsite and because I really want to figure out like what is it I think I've have I said this before I don't know what I've said already <laughs> like what extras if any I need like a little camping stool or whatever that I would take if I was going to a campsite um so anyway that's going to be the next video well not the next video because it'll be next week next Friday and there's like walking tours when I went to Spain coming up on Sundays but the next camping video will be about visiting a campsite and seeing car camping at a campsite Anyway, I'm going to go finish this work and I will see you in the next one. Bye.